delighted that you can be here for tonight's presentation of Trace. Uh, delighted that uh, the Lake Wolf Gardens have invited us back to continue to uh, work with them and, and be in this lovely, lovely space. Uh, we have this performance here starting in just a moment, and then we have a second performance at 8.30 tonight that does have uh, some slight changes in it. So, uh, if you're still around, love to see you again. If not, hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks so much again for coming. The ghost. The ghost of Wagner House. You really think there's a ghost in here? Oh yeah, you know. Did the moon tell you that there was going to be a ghost tonight? Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> Why wouldn't she be here? Are we going to get in trouble being here? No. no. It's an abandoned building. Nobody's going to see us. Well, she might. In fact, she already knows we're here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> how long is this going to take? As long as it takes. And how long is that going to be? I think it was a long time. It takes as long as it takes. She's not here. I don't even want to think about where she might be. Might be. Look at the molding. Look at these pictures. Ooh, these pictures on the wall. The sconces. That fireplace. Come on, this place reeks of paranormal activity. Yeah, it reeks. <laughs> how do you know? I mean, really, how do you know? We don't know anyone who's seen this ghost. No, we could be here for nothing. Exactly why uh, I think we should just leave. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean to say we leave right now. Yeah, just give it a chance. Yeah. Fine. What do we have to do? I got it. I got it. We need to be quiet. <laughs> be quiet. And we need to ask her if she will come and visit us. You know, come into our presence. Well, what's her name? Who cares? She probably doesn't exist. Uh, I'll find out. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, her name was Brianna. Bri Brianna? I think Brianna. Brianna. Brianna, that's really great. Well, anyway, so according to this article, Brianna went to the old Wagner Mansion just to look around. That's where we are. Shh. Apparently, it was abandoned for years. Oh, uh, we can tell. Can I finish? Jeez. So she just came to, to go exploring, but they don't exactly know why. Uh, according to the police reports, it looks like she stumbled down the stairs, leading toward the cellar. And, oh. Broke her neck. She'd been missing for about five weeks when they found her. Oh, oh that's nasty. Uh, she was identified through dental records and the necklace she was wearing. That's really sad. Brianna? Are you here? Brianna? Will you let us see you? Well, what do we think about ghosts and things? I'm not doing this. What about you? Oh, well, 
A ghost is an apparition of a dead person which is believed to appear to the living. Oh, well, thank you, Captain Obvious. No, 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 I mean, I believe in them. Of course I believe in them. It's just, it's not that simple. It's more than that. They are more than that. What about you? I said I'm not doing this. You first, please. Well, if I believe in ghosts, I would say that they are sad, curious non-beings. They were probably stupid or careless. I mean, what did they have to do to linger on? Why are they trapped here and not somewhere else? And what do they hope to accomplish here? It's just dumb. No! You? <laughs> I want to believe in ghosts. I just don't know. If they are real, I have to think that they were once living, breathing human beings. She was so young. Too young. Everything that she was is gone. Everything that she could have been is gone. She had family, loved ones, pets. What happened to her happened to those she cared about, too. How does her death affect those she left behind? The loss. The deep, heartbreaking loss. Will they still be called mother and father now that their only baby is gone? Aren't they just as lost as this ghost? They live in a different world now, different from ours, the world after. Time is now divided before and after. The fear, the fear that they have always lived with has crept into the tiniest crack and stolen not just their daughter, but their hopes and aspirations for her as well. Ghosts. If they're trapped between here and wherever, how do they know how to get out? They don't. It's really very sad. Very sad. Boring. What else can we do while we wait? Is that too tough for you? I know. We can tell each other stories. Oh, yes, yes, that'll be fun, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, your suggestion, you start. Oh, oh, great. No pressure or anything. It'll be great. Scare me. There goes nothing. A girl was staying at her grandparents' house. For her, it was a normal night. Until she went to bed. Sometime after midnight, she started hearing a scratching sound coming from her closet. But when she opened her eyes, nothing was there. So she went back to sleep. A few minutes later, she started hearing the scratching sound coming from her closet again. But this time, when she woke up, there was a pair of red, glowing eyes staring back at her. She tried to cover herself because she was too scared to like run or scream, and she was hoping that she'd wake up from what she was hoping was a dream, or that whatever it was would leave her alone. Fortunately for her, that wasn't the case. She heard the closet door open, and footsteps coming towards her, closer and closer until a large hand grabbed her leg through the blanket. When they woke up in the morning, she was gone. And she was never seen again. Okay, I didn't say I was good at telling those stories. <laughs> no, not great. So. Okay, my turn! Right, okay. Listen up, y'all. So, I was about six years old, right? And it was this cold autumn day. And my dad, he, he took me to the river. And we were walking along this winding path, and I was chasing all the leaves, feeling like some explorer or something, you know? And uh, we came to this super steep drop by the river. 
And I guess I got too excited because my foot slipped, you know, the ankle took that far, but um, and I fell into the water and it was like ice. I remember the shock hitting me and I, I could hear my dad calling my name from, from above, but I just kept getting pulled further and further away. But just when I thought I was lost, I felt this cool, firm grip on my arm. And I look up and I see this shimmering figure next to me, this little girl with long, dark hair and this glowing light about her. She pulled me from the water onto the bank and I'm sitting there trying to catch my breath. And when I turned to thank her, she vanished. Anyway, so my dad comes running down the bank and he's worried sick, right? And I'm telling him about this little girl with this dark hair who just saved my life. And he's looking around and he's like, dude, ain't nobody here. A few years later, I went back to that same spot, overheard some hikers talking about a little girl who had drowned her a long time ago. And I knew it was that little girl that saved my life that day. So don't sit there and tell me that ghosts aren't real because I know they are. I know it. It's because of that little girl that I'm still alive today. Do you have a story? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there was this girl. Um, her name was... Oh, Brianna. That was her name. And she was walking down the street, and it was really cold outside, and she needed to get into a building as soon as possible. So she uh, broke into an abandoned building. Yeah. Broke in. And she was really cold, and um, she felt like a breeze coming on her neck, and she looked over. It was just like a window, a door that was open, and she just went to shut it because she was cold. And uh, after she shut the window, she felt something tickle on her neck again, like a spider, maybe like crawling down her spine. So she starts flailing about, knocks over a vase, not just any vase. And a big cloud of dust filled the air and she's coughing uncontrollably. When she finally managed to catch her breath, she hears the locks and the door starts to jingle. So she starts running, running. And she falls down a flight of stairs. Anyways, she died. Probably forced head trauma, maybe broken neck, I don't know. But I mean, maybe that vase was an urn and it was a spirit and they were trying to get her back. They said, you knock me down, I'm gonna get you too. <laughs> but I mean, what? She was dumb for breaking in. Like she broke in, knocked over the urn and fell down the flight of stairs. She did that to herself. That's terrible. You call me Captain Obvious. That's enough stories. What else can we do while we wait? We could split up. Maybe if we go in different directions, one of us will see her. Yeah, okay. sure. Why not? There's a handy dandy flashlight out here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, uh, I changed my mind. Bad idea. Yeah, Someone's much better. scared. I got it! I got it. I have an idea. Why don't we do a seance? Whatever you guys want to do. A seance? <laughs> do you even know how to do that? Don't you need like a table? Candles? Okay. A Ouija board? I don't know. I'll look it up. Just let him try it. It's better than just sitting here. Yeah, anything is better than just sitting here. Uh, do a seance, 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 do a
name. It may help if we mention her name to you. I gotta find it again. Hello, Brianna. Brianna. We ask you to come back now, as you were before. Confident, eager, with your hair brushed back from your temples. Let it be as though a woman could go backwards from death, erasing the time that didn't count or that added up to be no more than a single shining day in a shortened, brilliant life. Please, come and visit us now. Please, Brianna. I didn't deserve this. 